For me personally, I think this is a really great thing and it's something that you should be super excited about, but a big transition of sophomore year is kind of just like settling down and mellowing out. I think, you know, freshman year, there's so many new things. There's so much change. You're kind of always going and always like, you know, doing something new, exploring something new. And I think sophomore year is kind of the moment where you're like, okay, like I'm here, let me settle down with like people that I love, like things that I love, um, and just kind of like calm down a little and just like enjoy the moment, enjoy being here. Um, but kind of on the other side of that, there's, you know, still like so much room to explore your sophomore year, you know, socially, academically. Um, it's just kind of like slowing down and just like enjoying Duke. So for me, I'm very lucky to be in a program that actually planned out the summer after my freshman year. Um, so I was actually paired to work with a local nonprofit in Durham. Although like kind of on paper, that doesn't sound like the most glamorous thing, you know, especially when you have people in your class who are going, um, you know, to work for huge companies and huge cities. Um, but for me, it was it was 100% the summer that I needed, um, you know, not only just like mentally and physically, but it's an experience that whether I'm in interviews or talking to friends or talking to family that I can speak on and I have, there's such a story to it and I have so much to say about it that just kind of transcends, you know, the typical internship. And, you know, I really think it's because I looked for something that catered to what I really care about and what I'm really excited about. So I'd say that's my biggest, you know, tip for approaching that summer. I think this is a lesson that pretty much every Duke student will tell you. Um, but I think we all say it for a reason, and I really learned this year to not overcommit and overextend myself. You know, truly at the end of the day, you only have so much time here, and you know, the academic and extracurricular things that you're doing, you really want to be able to put your all into. Um, and just like from overcommitting and doing too many things, I wasn't able to do that for some of this year, and you know, I, I learned the hard lesson of just like not overcommitting. Um, so I think just kind of like focusing on what you really care about so that you have time to kind of give your all to them, give your all to school, give your all to like your friends and your family. Just really be careful about how many things you're tacking onto your schedule because I've just found that putting too many things on your schedule is just the worst.